We've all been there. We've all experienced the misery of a common cold like me this week. Most of us do all we can to avoid getting sick, but, but Heather, local researchers are actually looking for volunteers to get sick. Seems incredible, doesn't it? <laughs> all in the name of science, though, this is the first time a Canadian team has gotten permission to give people the cold, but it is for good reason. They're trying to learn more about why this common illness is so difficult to snuff out. Fast breath in. Oh. <laughs> and keep going. David Vandertor says he's pretty lucky when it comes to his health. I really haven't missed a, a day of work uh, for sickness and I don't know, since a long time I can remember. But David will be getting sick soon for research. He's volunteered to be infected with rhinovirus, the virus better known as the common cold. We know that uh, the rhinovirus counts for about uh, 6 to 80 percent of all uh, acute exacerbations or clinical worsenings in both asthma and smoker's bronchitis. This Calgary lab has become the first in the country allowed to infect volunteers in order to learn more about how the disease works and why colds can make breathing difficult for people with asthma or COPD. We're hoping that by doing the study we can understand uh, the way the respiratory system immune response uh, uh, works towards this virus and how it causes these worsenings of both asthma and smoker's bronchitis. The study is recruiting volunteers who fit into three categories, healthy non-smokers, smokers with no respiratory disease, and non-smokers with mild asthma. Participants undergo a series of tests, including a bronchoscope, before and after they're infected with the virus. They're going to experience runny nose, uh, perhaps a slight headache, and uh, a mild cough. But these symptoms are very mild. The particular uh, cold virus you're using is a fairly benign one. And so the symptoms last about three or four days. David says he's not worried about a few days of the sniffles, especially if it can help researchers one day cure the common cold once and for all. And if you'd like to participate in the study, we have more information up on our website, globalnews.ca slash Calgary.